There are currently nine statues here in Parliament Square and they've got one thing in common, not their politics or even their nationality, but the fact they're all men. We have waited too long for political justice. We refuse to wait any longer. The voice of Emmeline Pankhurst. But it's not the famous suffragette who's set to become the first statue of a woman in Parliament Square. That honour will go to her contemporary, the tireless but rather more moderate feminist campaigner, Millicent Garrett Fawcett, who was president of the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies for more than 20 years. And this is where she'll stand, nestled between Disraeli and the Earl of Derby. She's often known as a suffragist and a constitutional campaigner because she never got involved with militancy and didn't really approve of it. But what's interesting about this statue and the design that Gillian Waring has done is that the print will feature 52 other suffrage campaigners, um, both militant and constitutional, who all campaign for votes for women. There are those, aren't there, that, that say that she was a kind of drawing room activist and that maybe we should have someone who was a bit more thrusting as the first woman in Parliament Square. She was incredibly thrusting. <laughs> she was just absolutely fantastic and there's no way that she sat at home and just issued commands. She spoke regularly, she campaigned behind the scenes as well as in person. Um, so no, I don't think she was a hidden or a passive figure at all. The statue is due to be unveiled next year, but which other great ladies might have laid claim to Dame Fawcett's spot? Another really strong candidate would be Mary Wollstonecraft, uh, who was a feminist thinker, and she wrote A Vindication of the Rights of Women in 1792. Now, there is a campaign for a statue of her already called Mary on the Green, and that's to be in North London, but she was so influential um, as a feminist thinker, and she also campaigned for uh, women to be equally represented in Parliament. So she's somebody that has had a real influence on, uh, on feminist and uh, equality thinking, really, over the course of two centuries. Or how about the formidable Nancy Astor, the first woman to sit in the House of Commons? But I hate wars, but I like fighting. <laughs> but I like fighting, but I like fighting for justice. Then, of course, there is the Manchester lass, Emmeline Pankhurst, who famously advocated deeds, not words, and was imprisoned for her militant tactics. And speaking of Emmeline, here she is in Victoria Gardens, just around the corner from Parliament Square. Now, for many people, she is the leading figure of the women's suffrage movement. So they might be asking, why isn't she over there? 